with a new Spawn movie on its way, I felt it time we did a review on She Spawn. Stay tuned, my friends. As I said, today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys Spawn Ultra Action Figure Series 4 She Spawn. All right, so before we take a look at the figure, let's go ahead and take a look at the package. As you can see here on the card, uh, which you can cut out from the package, it says here, She Spawn. Throughout history, numerous spawns have graced the earth, including female spawns. A talented tracker and warrior, She Spawn spends all of her time hunting. She stalks both angels and violators, taking them on single-handedly. Unlike our hero, Spawn, who takes the more passive approach. As you can see here, included in the line are the Max, Cygor, She-Spawn of course, Clown 2, Shadowhawk, and Exoskeleton Spawn. Series 3 included Violator 2, The Redeemer, Spawn 2, Cosmic Angela, Ninja Spawn, Vertebraker, The Curse, and Future Spawn. Then, of course, we have Wetworks, the Frankenstein, Blood Queen, Pilgrim, Dozer 2, Commander Dane, and Grail 2. This was, that was Wetworks Series 2. Uh, series 1 was Werewolf, Vampire, Dane, Grail, Dozer, and Mother 1. And then Youngblood Series 1, which included Die Hard, Sentinel, Troll, Crypt, Shaft, and Dutch. She Spawn, of course, was released in 1996 from Todd McFarlane Productions Incorporated. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front here. As you can see on the bottom here, uh, Todd McFarlane Spawn Deluxe Edition Ultra Action Figures, America's best selling comic book. Spear shoots from Skull Launcher, ages four and up, she spawn. 
Uh, I did pay $6 for this at Primary Colors Retro Relics in Lincoln, Illinois. Uh, great place to find old school action figures from when we were kids growing up in the 90s. He has a huge selection of Spawn figures. Next time I go in there, I'm going to have to pick up a few more. So anyway, we'll move that out of the way. And now let's go ahead and take a look at She Spawn. She does come with a number of accessories. One being her skull launcher, made from several bones. It can articulate, it's on a ball joint on both ends. Has a nice little sickle here. And let's see. Looks like the trigger is right here. Pop it. See if it can actually go fly. Not bad. Not too bad. It has these little grooves right there, which have to slide in on either side of the mouth. Just like that and lock in place. McFarland Toys has always been known for their attention to detail. Uh, very detailed figures, even back in the early to mid 90s. And of course, it does attach to her shoulder. Right there. There's a little square peg right there, which attaches. Get it. It's a little difficult to do on camera, guys. Right there. Just like that. Uh, but we're going to take that off right now. So we can take a look at the rest of this figure. Another one of her accessories is her blade. Very nice. Bone handled blade. Uh, looks a lot like tri a tribal tattoo very nice also included is this wrist blade which again is made from bone scale it looks like a dragon's foot or dragon's claw and blades and that attaches to this wrist right there just like that let's take that off and the final attack uh the final accessory is this little shin guard with blade. As you can see, she does have hair which comes out of her head. Um, I'm not sure if it was meant to be solid like this. Could have happened over time. I did buy this new in the package, so it had never been opened, so it could have just stuck together over time. Let's go ahead and split it up a little bit. Ugh. Guess that's all right. She of course does have the trademark Spawn skulls for the chest. However, these skulls are, of course, covering her breasts. Very nice. Uh, unlike the normal spawn that we're used to, she has more of a maroonish top and mask uh, with black, uh, black Malbolgia symbol on her chest and abdomen, black pants, and one red boot with the uh, wide spike boot. Of course, this is a serpent belt with spikes in it. You can see the scales on there. 
a nice skull on her on her belt the spikes do go all the way around I apologize guys there's a motorcycle going by in the background it seems like he went down to the end of the street turned around and came back very annoying when you're trying to film anyway and it looks like these skulls on her breasts are held on by a strap and chains uh, I have got to get a soundproof room <laughs> I apologize guys uh, there is of course a skull on her shoulder which is held on by the chains right there she has spiked armband which looks to be made out of reptile skin uh, same with she has a metal armband as well as a reptile skin uh, spiked gauntlet uh, chains attaching to her metal leg band and another set of chains coming down uh, to this leg strap which apparently ends at her knee. I don't know why they didn't follow it all the way down to her boot. Uh, that would have made sense because otherwise this strap here has absolutely no purpose. She also has reptile skin straps on her boot and of course this bigger boot uh, it is a combination of bone, it appears, and reptile skin with spikes. Very nice. As for articulation, uh, McFarland didn't do much with articulation back in the day. Let's go ahead and zoom this back a little bit. Her head. Her head is on a peg, so it only turns from side to side. It can go all the way around. Uh, her hair does move freely once you free it up. Uh, this arm can only go up about that far because of the skull on her shoulder with a peg on her elbow. No wrist or forearm articulation. Uh, this arm, however, can go all the way around. Once again, with a peg at the elbow, no wrist or forearm articulation. Her legs can go all the way around, pretty much, which is very nice. You don't really get that a lot in figures today, and that is with both sides. Uh, Apologize guys, apparently that motorcycle can't get enough of this street, so it keeps going back and forth, back and forth. A peg at the knee. No thigh swivel, no calf swivel, no foot articulation. No toe tilt. Back in the 90s, we pretty much just had rather simple articulation on action figures. Uh, of course she does not... Of course she does not stand very well straight up. Um, you pretty much have to balance her like that. Uh, if you can find her balancing point uh, that's great uh, it's easier when she doesn't have all the all the accessories uh, weighing her down throwing off her balance uh, it's easier to display her like this but what's the point of accessories if you can't display her with the accessories on them uh, so with the accessories on which let's go ahead and do that this one just clips 
can see there's clips on there. Just clips into her right leg, like so. This one clips right there, attaches to her wrist. Her blade goes in her right hand. Uh, you'll find that it'll probably let's see, probably balance a little bit better uh, what appears to be almost backwards. There she is with all of her accessories. And you'll find her center of balance isn't where it used to be. You have to almost kind of hunch her forward a little bit in order to get her to balance. So there you have it, my friends. This was the McFarlane Toys Spawn Ultra Action Figure Series 4 She Spawn. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care, my friends. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.